Happy morning, folks. Uh, it is me, Gerald, coming back to you. I'm sorry about the lighting. I know there's a light right above me, but I'm in my kitchen um, getting ready to take my medications and whatnot in the morning. Uh, but as I mentioned before, uh, being a uh, vertical, take, having a vertical sleeve gastronomy or, or gastrectomy, um, that is a challenge in the sense that there are certain things you absolutely must do. And I touched on it in my last video, you know, what vitamins and things I'm supposed to take. But I just wanted to take a quick moment one more time to go over them because I think it's really important. A lot of us who have VSG, uh, you know, we'll get to a point in our, our healing that we feel normal, we feel great, and then we stop doing the things that we're supposed to do. So this is just a sharing of what I have to do, my routine each day uh, when it comes to my vitamins. And as I said, I take uh, berry melts, but there are other vitamins uh, such as Celebrate 45, which I'll talk about in a second. But in the morning, this is what I take. I take my B12, make sure you can see it. I don't think I gave you a chance to see it. And I hope it doesn't come off backwards, <laughs> you know, because of the mirroring thing. Uh, but I do take my B12, uh, specifically designed for bariatric patients, which is really important. Uh, the flavor that I take is like a natural cherry flavor. And they're fairly small. And you just take one a day. And this is the tablet. It's really small. So that is on my menu tray that I take each morning. Then, of course, I continue to take my uh, baby dose aspirin or what they call a low dose aspirin. I call it baby dose, but it's 81 milligrams. And that actually looks very similar to the B12 vitamin. It is also a very small tablet that I take every day. And I just use, you know, Good Sense brand, but you can use any kind of brand. I can take the kind that you have to swallow, but I prefer the chewable version uh, just because I don't want to fill my pouch up so much. Because as you know, our pouches are much smaller after you have this surgery. Um, then the next one I take is Celebrate uh, Nutritional Supplement Multivitamin 45. It's a multivitamin with iron. And I think the one I showed you before uh, was a berry melt. And the berry melt, I do um, have those as well, uh, but I don't necessarily take them, uh, mostly because those vitamins, the berry melts, they're very good. But look at the size of these buggers, and you gotta take two of them, but they are chewable. Um, but I prefer to take the capsules now, uh, which, go down a lot easier and I'll show you my little trick. It, it's still a fairly sizable capsule, but it's it's like any other capsule you would take. Um, so I am going to take that uh, as a part of today, as a part of my morning routine as well. Um, I will not be taking this. I'll be taking the Celebrate 45. And what I like about that Celebrate 45, um, it's a different product uh, and I am not uh, you know, being supported by any of these. These are just the things that I take um, that work for me. I like this because it really is one pill a day. You take this one pill, all, all of your bariatric needs are pretty much taken care of. I really don't have to take the B12, according to my dietitian, uh, because I do get enough of that in this, but she said it does not harm to have that extra boost of B12. So. I decided, I, at least in the earlier stages of my development, I'm going to take that extra boost of B12. So it's, but it's nice to know that there's one vitamin I can take that will have everything I need in it except for my calcium. Um, and then in terms of medication, uh, I, as I mentioned before, the omeprazole, um, uh, I do take the omeprazole, um, um, which is important for me to take. Uh, this particular medication here is also in capsule form. Now, for those of you who are just starting out and have been prescribed this medication, you also have probably been told you need to open up the tablet and put it into some uh, Cool Whip. You know, you get a little thing of sugar-free Cool Whip, 
and you mix it in and you take it that way. But I am at the stage or uh, the phase of my development where I can actually take the capsule itself as normal. But I still put it in, instead of Cool Whip, I put it in some sugar-free chocolate pudding that I put a little bit of Cool Whip in just to thin it out. And I put the capsule on top and then I take it that way. Um, once again, everything I do, uh, I'm mindful of how much space it will take uh, in my pouch. The other thing that I absolutely do religiously every morning, according to my uh, dietitian, it is incredibly important, is I take two ounces of kefir or kefir, or kefir however you pronounce it, um, every day. Uh, this really has helped with digestive issues. I've had none, uh, except the one time I eat something I wasn't supposed to, um, too late at night and I, I felt it. But after that, there was really nothing. And then this is real talk, y'all. It might be too much information for some, but if you have the gastric sleeve or any kind of um, surgery like the ruin R and Y, or you know you have the bypass or any of those things, you will most likely have uh, issues with trying to defecate, go to the bathroom. So something that I do religiously as well as the kefir or kefir. I also take two ounces every morning of prune juice. It helps tremendously. Now, I will tell you, and I'm gonna share this with you guys really quickly. There are two other items um, that, you would, that you would take uh, during the day, and this is more dealing with you being able to go to the bathroom and feel um, less bloated. Um, and then of course, avoiding being compact. But the number one thing that you have to do is drink your liquids. That's numero uno, okay? Um, I use like crystal light uh, water. This is a great flavor, that's why it's, it's purple. Uh, but I consume at least three of these bottles every single day, religiously. That helps not only keep your body hydrated, it will help you not get, you know, impacted in a negative way, you know, with, with your um, high levels of protein that you have to take in. Because as you know, that's what we do. We have to take a lot of protein in. In addition to that, drinking your water, I do a Dicolax uh, chew every other day. I will take one of these every other day and they really do help uh, keep things moving. And then now this is a vitamin, you know, this is something you have to take every day, um, but you cannot take it while you're taking your multivitamin, okay? You have to have at least two to four hours in between taking a multivitamin that has iron in it and it's about the iron and then your calcium. You cannot take them together. If you take them together, there's going to be a counter um, reaction. And I can't remember if it's the calcium or if it's the iron. One of them becomes less active. Uh, and that obviously will cause problems later on. So you want to be mindful of that. But I do calcium chews. And I take one of these every day. And I usually take it about four hours after I've taken my morning med. So usually about noon, I'll take my calcium chew. And that is my routine, folks. I hope you found this to be informative on some level and helpful. I know for me, when I was researching this process and learning about what people physically have to do every time they, um, you know, get up in the morning, whatever, to just so I can get a, get a better grasp on what this process was, uh, this is the kind of video that I really, really value. One that didn't have all the flashy, you know, stuff, the music and the lights and putting up extra pictures of when they were, you know, really, really big and then when they were really, really small, but really when people are just talking to you. I'm a teacher uh, and that's what I do. So it is uh, for me natural just to have a conversation. And I want you to be able to learn from my experience if this is a route that you are taking to understand. Now, there are videos out there that will talk about all the things I wish I had known, the things that nobody ever told me. With my videos, I'm just sharing with you 
small snippets under 10 minutes. Well, I'll just hit the 10 minute mark, so I'm gonna stop talking. But uh, pretty much what I do, what my routine is, what the experience is, how I'm feeling, when there are things to be shared. If it's nothing to be shared, I'm not gonna make a video just for the sake of making a video. So with that, I shall bid you adieu and say thank you very much uh, for joining me. I hope you found this helpful and you have a wonderful and most blessed day. And if you're on this VSG journey, good health to you, good health. And please follow your doctor's instructions. That is numero uno that you cannot deviate from. Okay, thank you very much. Be blessed, bye-bye.